with a $499 projector, which is the BenQ W1070. And uh, what we're seeing here, which is the totally homemade projector screen, uh, which the way we're seeing it has a total cost of right around $75 and I built it all myself. The power of the dark side, 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 side. All right, I thought I would do a real quick recap. Um, I'm in my house here. This is the home theater, which I built a week or so ago. All the lights are on and uh, none of the equipment is on. So I thought I might just do a quick tour. Obviously the focal point of the room is the screen that we built together. So there it is. And once again, that's a 120 inch diagonal fixed frame projector screen, which I personally made here at the house. using one by fours, um, some L brackets, and blackout cloth from Carl's Place on Amazon it is going to be the screen material. I haven't looked at it yet, but I did open the end of the box. So we're gonna look at it together. There it is. And the neon lights that I have on the back side of the screen are from Tinkum. And then we've got two rolls of these Tinkum. <clears throat> I believe that's the name brand. So that's about, should be about 32 or 34 feet of the LED lighting. As you see here. Alexa, dining room lights off. I'll certainly uh, paste a link in the description. And of course the lights change colors just like you've seen in every other video. And we have the felt border. Okay, we've got the felt border tape here. So I'll post a uh, link to that. I think that was about 15 bucks. Uh, I, I, pardon my fingernails, oh my goodness, I gotta cut that out. I just did a brake job which I videotaped as well. So, if you saw that, don't get, don't yell at me. Anyway, so you have the screen, then you have the old school 5.1 surround system with these old 1980 Fisher tower speakers, and then an old Kenwood tower speaker as my center channel. And then I've just got some material laying on top of it so that the top of the speaker does not cast any reflections during the movie. Now I do use the hue lighting, so I've got a hue, uh, I believe I've got two colored bulbs in the room, maybe just one. So all the lights are hue. <clears throat> Very simple seating. I mean, everything in this home theater is about as simple as it gets. Very inexpensive. The projector is just propped upside down here using the plumber's insulation pipe wrap, which, uh, as I will show, uh, is just easy to cut and adjust the length. I'm screwing that one up, but you can make little small slivers, you see, in order, and then use that to get the thing kind of balanced up to get it finely tuned, and then just use these for legs. So it's on top of an eight inch subwoofer enclosure, which is a good shape and it's easy to slide around. Then I've got my Xbox 360 here. 
and my 3D collection. One of the reasons I was interested in the projector is because it is a 3D projector. And then I've got a Sony uh, 5.2 surround sound receiver there. Can't remember the model name, the model number, which is the Sony STRDH550. Not many people wanting these much anymore. Put that in the description as well. And then I have, I believe that's a Dayton Audio 12 inch enclosed powered subwoofer down there along with a couple of Dayton Audio bookshelf speakers as the rear surrounds. Then of course I've got some curtains on the windows and I added some, uh, some blinds there and then added the curtain here so you can black everything out. Alexa, dining room lights off. So, we'll get another shot with everything turning on. I mean, I guess we can do that now. So, Gonna turn on the projector here. That should do it. And here we'll get the LEDs rotating so you can see that. It's never a video without my little doggy Nikki coming to see us. And I guess he got bored awfully quick. So basically there we are. Um, I will not play any content at this time so I can avoid any kind of copyright claim. So the grand total cost on that pro uh, projector screen is right about $75. The projector itself was $499. So we're still at under $600. The receiver was under $100, so we're under $700. And everything else in the room I had in other parts of my house. So it ba you know, so basically 700 bucks and you've got a big movie theater. I've definitely had many friends over in the last couple of weeks and it's just totally awesome. The gaming is much better than before and I certainly like it I'm probably more of a gamer now than I was uh, before You're right, but you